Let's talk about JSON. If you're building anything that talks to an API, stores configuration data, or logs structured output, JSON's probably involved. But what exactly is JSON? JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it's a lightweight data format used to store and exchange information. Even though it's derived from JavaScript syntax, it's completely language agnostic. So whether you're writing in Python, Go, Java, or Rust, you'll run into JSON. At its core, JSON is just a structured way to represent key value data using plain text. A JSON object looks like this. You've got keys as strings and values that can be strings, numbers, booleans, arrays, or even other nested JSON objects. It's clean, predictable, and easy to parse. You'll encounter JSON most often in API development. When you send a post request to a server, your payload is usually a JSON object. The response, also JSON. This makes JSON ideal for client-server communication. It's also extremely easy to work with. Most languages come with built-in JSON parsers or libraries to serialize and deserialize JSON with a single line of code. That said, there's a few strict rules you need to keep in mind. First, JSON doesn't allow comments. So if you try to slip in a comment, and let's try to do that here, and I try to run this request, it's not going to parse. You're going to get a 400 bad request and it's going to say um, invalid JSON. So you're not allowed to add comments. Second, your keys must be double quoted strings. So if I remove a double quoted string and I change it to a single quote, again, we get invalid JSON. And then finally, there's no trailing commas. So a trailing comma at the end of an object is also going to throw an error. So if I add a comma here, and I try to send this, again, I'm going to get a bad request. Yeah. So JSON really is everywhere because it's easy to generate, it's easy to read, and it works well across systems and languages. So if you're building modern web apps or working with APIs or integrating with AI models, you'll probably use JSON constantly. Keep these rules in mind next time you're building, and we'll see you in the next video.